Yes. Oh, thank God. I got Sangha of the Thunder. He is the last card I've needed. Oh, yes. Save the game. Let's see how long this has taken me. 47 hours? Pretty much. 47 hours! When I thought this game would take like 20 hours. But most of it is my fault because with a guide and knowing that, oh, Pegasus, if you flip the stage on him, he actually has different monsters. You need to do that. I didn't do that for my first couple playthroughs. Um, then with also having the random cards at the end, that can screw you over. So yeah, I did not plan this out good enough. Uh, that's why it took so long, but good lord. I, I never got truly sick of this game though. It, it was fun. I don't know uh, if I will be uh, coming back to it anytime soon, though. After this. Please be 100% and not 99. Boom! <laughs> yes! Finally! You never know how challenging a game is, especially when it does not have very many guides on the internet to begin with. So, me not really doing research, and it not really having a good fan base, uh, I would not recommend 100%ing this game. It is fun to play, I would say do one playthrough like I did whenever I was a kid, and that's good. Because to get this guy, you have to have every single wood monster for him to unlock. So I just unlocked him like 30 minutes ago. And then Sangha of Thunder, he's a fusion. So y you unlock him after beating the game. There's a random chance that you will get him. And you need two of them because if you fuse a monster, it gets rid of him. So... Thank God that on my last playthrough, I got it. Oh, man. <laughs> so, yeah. There's my 100% of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, monster, no, Capsule Monster Coliseum. Uh, yeah. Sweet. Ooh, God dang.